difficulties. All right, let's. Hello, can you hear me now? Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? We've been having some technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Bud Fox, uh, can you hear me? Is the I, I'm gonna have to probably fix the audio. Um, hello, Cox Sandwich. How's it going? The Jabbar of Jobbies. Welcome back. Hello, hello, Pope Gein, Stupid Universe. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Russ. Hello. How is the audio? Is the is the audio too loud? I definitely I wasn't expecting some technical difficulties, but we had some here today. Maybe if I if I have to. Thank you, Alec. The audio is decently perfect. Uh, there, there were three super chats, to which I apologize. They like deleted the super chats, and I, I know Pope Gaines were one of them. Uh, I'm so hello, how are you, Pope Gaines? I appreciate your kindness here today. I, I, I'm not sure what you sent, but uh, I appreciate you being here. Uh, the Cajun Ninja, nice. Thank you again, uh, the Cajun Ninja. I still have yet uh, to utilize. <laughs> Uh, your sweet spice, uh, because it's still sitting on my desk, uh, which is awesome. I, I, I look over this at this thing all the time. Uh, heck yeah. But eventually, we will use this, me and my girlfriend, but it's got its own spot on my desk. Uh, hey, LA Beast here. Uh, man, I love the old intro, says Pope Gaines. Now, fair enough. And you know what? Who's to say that in the future I may not use uh, that same intro again? I don't know. Um, I think right now my intro is L.A. Beast here, and today all I plan on doing is, I don't know, uh, the game audio is a little bit low. Uh, yes, it is, Russ, yeah, yeah, it's me, because the people over at Nintendo uh, always copyright, They're, it's not a copyright strike, it's a copyright uh, something or other to where Nintendo puts ads on my live stream, so I've turned down the game audio just a little bit. Um, so that's what I did. That's why it's like that. We'll, we'll just jump right into this. Uh, I see you, Gabriel Saba. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. Um, nah, you don't, you don't have to do that, the Cajun Ninja. Huh. Uh, I will use the spices in that jar. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, save your money, save your money for the shipping. Uh, Big Titty Yolo says, how many blank can you fit in your gum flaps? Um, you know what? I, I can, in fact, swallow hot dogs without chewing them. Uh, I have not had any hot dogs probably in the past month and a half or so. Um, I see you, Cole Whitehouse, says, have a good day. Thank you, Cole. Uh, Jim Birmingham, thanks for everything you do. Skip, you always bring a smile to my dumb mug. You don't have a dumb mug, Jim. And you know what? I also don't, don't have a dumb mug uh, because I'm representing Dunder Mifflin's World's best boss, uh, Michael Scott. I, I never thought in a billion years that I would enjoy watching the show The Office, but it's a great uh, show. And you know what, Jim? You're great as well, as I have a great mug in my hand. So on that note, uh, I'm going to start playing the game, uh, kind of where I left off, and see if I can get some stars here. Today, we're at 69 stars. We're playing Mario A. Uh, and I'll answer questions while I'm playing. No man, much love. Tharsh, how's it going? Random Misfit uh, says, twice in two minutes. What happened twice in two minutes? Alright, I'm going to go, I'm going upstairs uh, towards where Bowser Bowser's lair is. Uh, up on like the second and third floors here. Uh, hello, Kepe. How's it going? 100%, like, after after I either screw up or, or achieve a star on a level, I will definitely stop and answer questions and shoot the shit here. But uh, the title of this live stream does, in fact, read One Hour Live Stream. Let's see if I... I think I did this one the last time. Yep. Alright, so I, I don't want to... I just want to exit the course. Can I do that? Yes. Nice. Uh, Devontae McCoy, welcome, says, Have a good day. 
Uh, thank you, Devonte McCoy. And for those of you who are wondering, like, uh, when my next YouTube video is going to be, I'm waiting for the results of the Guinness World Records title attempt that I uh, attempted in Chicago about two weeks ago now. Uh, and then, like, I, I definitely I might have another metal detecting video in the works. And after that, quite honestly, I have no idea what my next video is going to be. I've reached that point to where i got to sit down uh, and start brainstorming. But I feel like I can come up with something unique for, for another video. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else waited to the last minute to do their taxes like I did this year. Uh, but the crazy thing is, like, I thought that I had to write a check to the IRS by the end of today. Um... And they extended the like a deadline till May 17th. Uh, so if you owe money to the IRS, you don't have to pay until May. So I was like freaking out doing my taxes until like 2 in the morning last night. Uh, but you know what? I'm glad I got them done. Um, fuck the IRS. Uh, Random Misfit says, The Cone 710 likes metal detecting. He is also a butthole saunter. Fair enough. Uh, touche. If, if Decone 710 is a butthole saunter, it's fine with me. That's not cool. I just want to not screw this up here. Okay. Just somehow make it onto this platform. Nope, that's a bad platform. Okay, this is bad. Alright, get onto this platform. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, alrighty. Nice. I, I've somehow opened up the cannons, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Alright, well... I, I have no idea where I need to aim for, but hopefully we can get a star right off the bat here. I gotta get up here. Watch this. Wow. Get up there. Stay up there. Stay up there. Stay up there. What are the odds of that happening? Wow. Wow. I just want to pause the damn game. Alright. What do I do? Where do I go? Ah, oh, fudge fun ghoul. Watch this. Oh. This is bad. Okay. All right. Th thank you. This is Wheel Life, Tim. Welcome. He said, nice shot. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was the, the odds of that happening uh, from one can and right into the other. Can't make that stuff up. And, and quite honestly, I paused the game here because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, and I don't really want to die just quite yet on this level. Now, Chris Underwood says, hell yeah. I just cracked open a cold one and got the notification. Well, you know what, Chris Underwood and Tiffany? Cheers uh, to Heather. Heather Cullens. And Brian Yarnell, if you're here, cheers as well. Cheers to everybody. Today is a rainy day here in the state of New Jersey, but uh, I got about, I started lifting weights. I have eight pound weights and I, I went on the elliptical machine. Uh, I did like 20 minutes on the rowing machine and then I did like 20 minutes uh, doing a Fugazi workout with these eight pound weights. But uh, I've been motivated by seeing my people on Instagram getting back into the weight room and stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me, that was rude. Whoa. I felt, geez. And like, I feel like I have, uh, what's it called? Like acid reflux. I feel like I've been getting a lot of acid reflux uh, to where every now and then on like a semi daily basis, I've been taking Tums, uh, which has really helped. Uh, Bronson Dalton, welcome. Mr. Pico Boulevard, hello. Probably has something crazy to say. Oh, it's rain here too. I lift an eight ounce remote control. Nice. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what? Uh, I, I I grew up in like the late 80s, early 90s to where our family did not have a remote control for our television. 
And then I was like the kid to get up and go change the channel. Um, thank you for retracting your comment, Anthony. Anthony N. Uh, I see you, Frank Garcia. It's a little beast. My buddy and I have been watching your videos since high school. Now I'm in college. Anyways, thank you for the laughs. That's interesting, Frank. And again, I'll, I'll start replay. I'll start playing the game again. No, I just reached a point to where I don't want to die yet. I'm not sure what I need to do. I think I screwed it up, but I'll, I'm going to figure this out right here, right now. But uh, yeah, I think it's amazing, Frank. It's crazy. I've been doing YouTube for like ten and a half years now. I guess come August, it'll be like the eleventh year. I feel like I just hit the ten year milestone not too long ago. But you know, I'm going to keep doing my best, Frank, to continue to create uh, to the best of my ability entertaining content here on YouTube. Uh, Pope Gaines, Kodai, and Pat Shorin super chatted earlier. Oh, to Pope Gaines, to Cody, and to Pat Shorin. To Cody and Pat Shorin, I apologize. Uh, I had to restart the live stream earlier because uh, I had something wrong with my audio. I had technical difficulties I didn't realize, so I apologize. Now, hello, the real Brad Moe. How's it going? <laughs> I saw your Twitter comment uh, today, maybe from a couple days ago. Um... Uh, Cold Zombie 80 says, greetings from Germany. Much love. Uh, much love, Cold Zombie from Germany. Mm. Okay, what if I just do this? Nice. Whew. I'm stuck in a cloud. Okay. Um, what am I doing? This level is a pain in the butt. Okay, I just, I guess I'm trying to go for the eight red coins here without screwing this up. I probably need to... Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Okay, all right, I'm going to take a break here. Oh, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm about two red coins away from possibly getting a star. Uh, Jason Rank says, who is 41? I don't know. Hello, Alicia Joyce. Who is 41? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Hello, Alicia Joyce as well. Stupid Universe says, thanks for watching the new video, Beast. Always appreciate the support, man. You got anything new in the works, too. Uh, besides the, the Guinness World Records title attempt that I, I just tried to achieve, we're not sure uh, if we got the record or not. Maybe, quite possibly, a metal detecting video, which I, you know what, metal detecting videos, some people enjoy them, some people don't. Uh, but as far as, like, uh, an LAB style video, what the next video is going to be, I don't know, quite honestly. Um, like, the, again, like this, like, the same company, the, like the spicy cheese puff come, came in that gold bag. Uh, the company sent me another spicy challenge, but I think like, I've probably done like four, four or five spicy challenges already this year. Uh, enough, enough. I'd rather just uh, do something different than a spicy challenge. So I have that uh, definitely down the road, maybe like the fall time, I'll definitely pull that out and try that spicy challenge. But I don't know. I don't know what my next video is going to be. Stupid Universe. 
Uh, can I eat petrol? Uh, as in eating gas? Probably not. Did I poop today? Says Lena Christine. Yes, I did poop multiple times. Um, I see you, Anthony N. Thank you again for not <laughs> for retracting her comment. I didn't get to it fast enough. Ace Morrow says, greetings from Texas. Will you do the Death Nut 3.0? Probably not. Uh, now that I, I did, I just said that probably not. Uh, I'm not going to do a spicy challenge for a little while. Like, I, I could I could easily just keep doing spicy challenges, but no, I don't want this channel to turn into, like, a heat channel. Because I feel like I have other things to, to try and achieve and accomplish rather than spicy stuff at this time. So in the future, is it possible to do the Death Nut Challenge Ace? Absolutely. Uh, hello, Andrew Novak. Long time no see. Says, hey, dude, I hope you're well. What's that distance on the card throw into the apple that I measure? Cheers. Uh, Andrew Novak, yes. I, 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 well, no, I have not actually measured the distance, and I should have uh, when I was like trying to throw a, a card into an apple from a far distance. Now, I have thrown shot put in high school. I would definitely say... The distance where I was until I threw the card into an apple was probably minimum 30 feet. Anything like 30 feet right around there, if not a little bit further, quite possibly maybe 35, 40 feet, right in that range. But no, I don't actually have an official measurement. Hello, Megan Fox. I hope you're doing well. Uh, long time no see to everybody who's popping in here. Uh, and I will 100% absolutely continue to play the game here uh, as people might be getting frustrated uh, well, Anthony N. Anthony Nanku says, Beast, I have a challenge for you for the next video. I dare you to eat four cans of dog food, any of your choice. Now, I feel like I, I have, in fact, consumed I consumed a can of dog food back in 2013. I, I want to say Alpo, but I, I don't think it was Alpo. It was like Iams. I-A-M-S. Iams dog food. Quite honestly, if there was like an apocalypse tomorrow... And I just survive on dog food. I, I could easily survive on dog food. It's not that bad. Although, I think the ingredients in dog food it could possibly cause human beings to get like worms or something, or like not parasites, but I feel like some of the ingredients are not made for humans to consume. But dog food's not bad. Play the game or eat the game, says uh, Rob the Nom. Rob the Norm. I will play the game. I reached like a, a, a juncture here. Hopefully this is just a star. Nope. I need to kind of... Oh, nice. Shit. Mm. I need to find where that the final eighth... I'm not going to find it this way. Well, you know what? Just gotta, just gotta go for it. No! Oh, come on! I suck. I suck. Uh, happy birthday to Matthew. Uh, I did. So for some reason, my finger spazzed out there. Jesus, I'm sorry for screaming into the microphone. Uh, Justin Raymer says, banana hammock. Um, you know what? There, there are people like Steve-O from Jackass who enjoyed rocking a banana hammock. Uh, for me, personally, I'd prefer not to ever rock a banana hammock. But to those that enjoy bananas and or hammocks and or wearing banana hammocks, fuck yeah. Justin Raymer. Mm. Uh, all right. If any, if anything, maybe. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna at least. I don't care how I do it. I'm gonna make it through this level. If I have to go back up these stairs each and every single time, bring it on. Exactly. I, th I think I was talking too much. I wasn't focused. God darn it. Fuck. Shout out to Louisa Lewis. If Louisa Lewis uh, isn't here, she always pops by. Hope she's doing well. Shout out to the Michael Malloy Show. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, Peter Taylor says, have you seen Mario 64 played bl blindfolded? No. And you know what? Is, is, is anything possible? Yes. There's actually like a TLC documentary on this kid who at the age of two, they had to like remove his eyes. So like he could see at one point, but then he was like blind. This kid was like playing video games, rollerblading, riding bicycles, like You'd be amazed, like, it's, it's, it was amazing. I was like, holy shit. It's, like, and he was playing video games, blind. So, it is. It's, it's possible uh, to play Mario 64 blind. I guarantee it. Uh, Enrique Caceres says, one chip challenge while trying to beat Tetris. That's easy. That, that's easy street, Enrique. Uh, and Enrique, <laughs> if you've seen Terminator 2, uh, I believe... Sarah Connor's friend's name is Enrique. Et tu, Enrique? Is, is what I think she said. Okay, just please land on there. Land on there. Nice. I have no idea what the hell I just said, quite honestly. Uh, but I'm going to do this. Okay, fuck, just let me land on something, please. Just... Wing Mario over the rainbow. I just, just lost the opportunity to get a hat. Uh, what do you miss most about the 90s LA Beast, says the Dawn 212. You know what? I, I, I guess I would say I, I miss... I can just get the stupid hat. Are you kidding me? I def I'd definitely say, like, the technology has advanced. Uh, like, YouTube is amazing. Playing retro games on a live stream uh, to 895 people is mind-blowing. Uh, never would have imagined this as a kid. But, and, uh, yeah, fair enough. It's like, smartphones, internet, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok... Uh, all these great platforms to allow people to showcase their talents. Uh, it's all great, but I, I the one thing I miss the most about the 90s is definitely things were a lot simpler back then. Not having all this technology. And you actually had to like call up on the landline telephone to like ask a friend to hang out. So I, I just I miss the simpler times, although... Just take the fucking hat. I'm grateful... Okay. Okay. All right, maybe, you know what? I think maybe we're going to start on a different level. This is Wheel Life says, I miss the toys and just being a kid and free. Says, this is Wheel Life. Uh, I agree. And you know what the great thing uh, about 80s and 90s toys are? You can buy them back on eBay, Tim. Uh, just like, and you know what? I actually don't have any more room in, in my room right here <laughs> to add anything more to my collection, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. I enjoy looking at all the crazy stuff I used to play with as a kid. Um, do I did I buy any Atari stock? No. I wish my I wish my parents would have bought uh, as like a gift Nintendo stock back in like 1988 because I'm sure it's probably worth a lot uh, here today. And pretty much, yeah. Like I I've invested in like. Rare metals, metals that are needed for electric vehicles like copper and nickel. Uh, but like pretty much right now, all of my stock picks, uh, although I still believe in them, and especially I believe in my stock picks for the long term, uh, they're not, yeah, I, w I wish they were doing better. They're not doing bad, but uh, I think right now for the stock market, things are a little bit down, in my opinion, and that's okay. I've never played RuneScape. Hello, Hunter Haas. How's it going? Uh, North Jersey Fire and Trains. Welcome. That's awesome. No, like, what? what is the meaning behind North Jersey Fire and Trains? What does that mean? But hell yeah, welcome. Um, I see you up. Oh, Smokey481. Ah, oh, gotcha. He might be behind Old Smokey. That happens, okay? 
Well, I see Smokey481 says, Beast, always a blast watching your content. Thank you, Smokey481. Only you can prevent forest fires. Um, and yeah, like, you know what? Uh, like, it stinks that I don't know what my next YouTube video is. I think for me right now, it's the calm before the storm. Uh... Like, for me, like, it's either I'm, like, on top of what I need to do next for YouTube, or it's, like, a slow period. And right now, it's kind of a, a slow period. But I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll get through it. Ah, fucking fun ghoul. Okay. No. Ugh. I just want to get a star from this level. And I'm going to be stubborn about it until I do. So, you may be watching me play the same level over and over again, but... For some reason, this is the level I chose, and this is, this is the level we're going to stick with. So... Alright, so I gotta get... That's not cool. Shit me. Wow, that was close. Please just land on the thing. No, slow down. Slow down, dude. What? I, I will totally stop and, and, and answer some questions here. Like, I'm... Totally in the zone. Try not to screw this up somehow. Just like that. No. Alright, here we go. That's not cool. Oh boy. Okay, just land. Land somewhere. Land somewhere. Land. Don't do that. Oh, come on. Uh, his, his wings are gonna... Come on. Come on. Get on the platform. Whew. All right. There, you know what? We're gonna take a breather here. Uh, stay in the zone, says George Hay. Uh, I was in the zone. Uh... Oh, exact Canadian bong ripper says land somewhere. That's exactly what I was trying to do without screwing things up here today. Uh, and you know what? Uh, fair enough. I would definitely say there are probably other people live streaming uh, who may have tried to send people my way here to the comment section. Ignore them. If somebody's um, someone's trying to start trouble in the comment section, don't even give them the time of day. Fuck off. If anybody who's like in the, the comment section trying to be a dickwad, you're a dickwad. Just know that. Um... Hello, Cassie's the 17th. Says, good old YouTube. Good old YouTube won't let me super chat. Oh, keeps telling me to edit. Uh, nothing bad there. You know what, Cassie? I appreciate you just being here. Man, it pisses me off. Like, there they, like there was a, a period of time to where I also wasn't able to super chat as well. And like, it was infuriating uh, because I wanted to, like, support some of my favorite creators here on YouTube. Uh, Andrew Novak again, thank you for your, your kindness here today. It's good to see you. Uh, Brandon Collins says you should play GoldenEye on your next stream. I have it. I have GoldenEye. Fair enough. I will definitely consider that. Um, I think it took me like an hour and a half to beat one level one time. Uh, so definitely, and I think I'm like advancing towards the, the more difficult stages. 
If I get some practice in, sure, I'll definitely consider playing Goldeneye. UXO says, have a good day, beast. Uh, thank you, UXO. I will have a good day as long as I get a star on this level. Uh, thoughts on playing Goldeneye 007 next stream? Also have a good day, says Brandon Collins. It is 100% uh, a possibility. Uh, Brandon, uh, Fielding C says, I dare you to drink a pint of milk mixed with Sprite, then run a mile wearing a heavy coat. Thank you, Fielding C. You know what? That, that's a reasonable idea. Uh, you have three random things. Uh, drink a pint of milk. Well, pint of milk mixed with Sprite, then you run a mile wearing a heavy coat. That's three things. I like. Yeah, there was actually like a YouTube executive back in 2010. There was like a video. He explained like how to make a viral video. It's not like I feel like combining three random things had something to do with it. No, it's like the, the yeah. He's like you have to like take your audience like on a roller coaster ride with like twists and turns or something like that. I wish I could find that video. Um, because you know what, it hit home with me, and I um, appreciate your idea, Fielding C. This is actually a great idea, uh, says one person there. Uh, all right, let's 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 play on here. Let's let's see what I need to do. And what I need to do is not screw up. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, and what I'm going to do right here, right now, is give myself uh, uh, some basis of what I need to do because I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Mm. And what I'm doing, I'm watching a tutorial right now. I'm going to skip the ad here in one second, uh, just to better myself uh, on what to expect on this level. Uh, besides collecting the eight red coins. So here we go. It's a three-minute tutorial. Hmm. You know what? Gotcha. I think I know, I think I know what to do. Uh, I think I know, I know, I know what to do. Here we go. Uh, you've got this, says Grayson Hansen. Uh, thank you, Grayson. Pretty much it says follow the rainbow, and that, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And on the way, hopefully, achieve eight red coins. Okay, totally wasn't looking. Puzzled Pelican, hello. To everybody, hello. Thank you for watching me uh, poorly play Super Mario 64 here uh, on April 15th, 2021, which is in fact tax day. I hope everybody, if you had to like pay your taxes, got it all done and squared away. I'm just waiting to see how much I owe the government. All right, what the the it says follow the rainbow. Okay, I just screwed that up. Which rainbow do I follow? I'm going to follow this guy. That's ticked up. 
All right, you know what? I think we're done with this level. Uh, before I have a major conniption and throw the controller against the wall, I dislike that level. So, mm. tax day has been extended till May 17th. It has, in fact, uh, Russ, yeah, yeah, it's me. And, like, I didn't find that out until today. Uh, it's been extended. No, it has been extended, yes, to May 17th. I, I did not know that, and I think it was a good thing. Or else I would not have gotten my taxes done. Um, so yes, my accountant 100% uh, tricked me. Puzzled Pelican says, I've never laughed harder than a reaction to the hot ice challenge. Um, and you know what the cool thing was? Uh, that hot ice jar, to which I still have, was once filled with olives. And I spent $54. And I was like, how am I ever going to make that money back? Um, and like, I didn't expect that to be one of the most viewed videos on my channel. Uh, Puzzled Pelican. Uh, Fish says, hello, Beast. I love your videos. Mate, much love from England. Thank you, Fish. What kind of fish is your favorite fish? Mine, I like tuna. I like, well, when it comes to sushi, uh, I only get tuna rolls. That's it. And I'm not a big fan of sushi that has, like, sauce. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a condiment guy, quite honestly. But I could, I could probably eat... 50 pieces of sushi. I probably get 50 pieces of sushi whenever we order that for dinner. And I wolf it down because it's delicious in my opinion. I'm going to go this way. Right. Fun ghoul. You know what? This this try, I'm just going to have fun. Because if you had fun, then you won. Oh, I guess you can't lose lives. Ah. I think what I have to do is just collect the eight red coins on this level. I think that's what it is. Gotcha. Pretty sure that's all I need to do. Well, maybe not. Eh. Please be a coin on there. Shit. What am I doing? I will, I will totally stop after this. Okay. No. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. All righty. Okay. Are you serious? What the? Are you sh shitting me? Jesus. Come on. He's going to lose his hat. Just land somewhere. Okay. Come on. Come on. All right. Alrighty. 
Thank you, Chris Page. Highly unnecessary, my friends. Just hopefully this isn't another anxiety-filled level. Good luck, says Chris Page. Hopefully that was... You know what? It is an anxiety-filled level. Um, but you know what, Chris Page? I'm going to get through it. I don't care if it's the last thing I do here today. If I just get one star on that level, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, 100%. So let's do it. Done. Damn it. All right. Not doing too well, but we're, we're going to figure this out together here, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Doyle says, LA Beast, what would you say to all the jerks out there? Um, Nothing. You know what? Uh, again, every now and then, uh, fair enough, every now and then, yes. Will I stand up for myself if I believe in something and I feel like I'm being attacked? Sure. Uh, but for the majority of the people that are jerks out there, I ignore it. Like, they, like those people get nothing. They get zero of my energy and my attention uh, because I, I'm trying to focus on what I need to do to get ahead in life. And, and sure, there's always going to be people that try and drag you down to their level, but why even respond with one ounce of energy? Fuck it. Fuck them. Excuse my language. To all the people that want to be jerks, go ahead and be jerks to other jerks, but don't be a jerk to me. Uh, so yeah, done. Ignore them. That's what you do uh, to the people causing you trouble. Andrew, uh, I see you. Uh, Grayson Hansen, how's it going? Grayson Hansen says, you've got this. And you know what, Grayson, let's go. Let's, let's do this. Okay, you know what? I'm going to figure it out on my own. I was going to watch the, the tutorial. If I keep losing and playing this one level, uh, this very well could be a, just a quick one hour live stream. Uh, because it's very boring watching me do the same thing over and over again, but... I think I'm being stubborn right now, but not giving up and going to another level. At this juncture, it's like we're going to have to count how many tries it takes me. I think so far I'm like on about 9 or 10. On this one specific level. There we go. Alright, well, that was a mistake. <sighs> Go into the cannon. Oh boy, I'm going to run out of my hat here. Alright, this is, this is not good. I feel like I've achieved more red coins uh, than how I'm doing it right now. But you know what, we're going to get through this together. I don't care if this is the last level I play. We're going to do this. Hello, Don. Or Den Man. Hello. Mouse Potato says, don't think much of his wall. Don't think much of his wall. Okay? 
That's fine. Uh, do I like sunflower seeds? If so, what kind? Says Eric MDK. Uh, not the biggest sunflower seeds guy. Uh, I did play like freshman baseball in high school, uh, which is really the only like my problem. Yeah, my problem is like the saltiness that would chew all like everything together, uh, including the shell. Like I was too lazy to like uh, open up the shell and just eat the seed. Um, so you know what? Uh, I don't dislike uh, sunflower seeds. It's just not my favorite. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, says Stupid Universe. What did you not mean to do? Oh. Gotcha. The Stupid Universe did, in fact, consume the world's hottest gummy bear. Um, did anyone see the cement truck that plowed into a beer semi here in, in El Paso? I did not. Uh, I hope that the guy is okay, 100%. Um... And hopefully, a lot. The, hopefully, the beer wasn't wasted. Uh, damn, you're making money, says Grayson Hansen. Well, 100% stop. Uh, I, I appreciate everybody's super chat. I appreciate everybody's kindness. Absolutely, um, 100%. And and fair enough. Like I'll I'll continue to play the game here. Um, but it, like with that said, like I owe the content. I owe the fans, the people that still tune in, uh, to go out and figure out however the hell I have to try and do it. To create another LAB style YouTube video. Period. End of sentence. Boom. That That's what it is. That's what it is. Um, I see you. Um, Grayson, Grayson Hansen says you're my bro. Uh, you know what? I, I appreciate all the kind people that tune in. Uh, and I consider everybody an internet friend for sure. Uh, I have met with people... That I've, I've seen on the internet and like sometimes people have creeped me out a little bit. So, yes, I, I, like have I met uh, some people from these live streams in person to where like it's it was like a positive um, get together? Absolutely. But there there has to be a line that is drawn uh, kind of, I guess you can say, to where uh, in fact... I don't know. Like, I, I, exactly. I don't know. I, I always keep my, my privacy and my safety first and foremost. Uh, but you know what, Grayson, here today, we are bros. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to explain my thought process here. Uh, I guarantee the majority of the people in here are positive, good people. And if there ever was a fan meetup, I'm pretty sure it would go off without a hitch. But you never know. You never know. I, I'm always like, uh, I don't want to like say something. I don't know. I'm just, let's just keep playing the game. How about that? I'm about to sh uh, shut up and just play the game. Shit. Correct. Uh, and, and you know what, Grayson? I totally just read into that comment way too much there. Appreciate your kindness here today. I just want to get this start so we can move on to a different level come on Alright, this, le this level is not going well. I not oh boy. Mr. Pico Boulevard says, I knocked on morning wood once. It really hurt like hell. Uh, what is morning wood uh, in your definition, Mr. Pico Boulevard? I'm pouring myself some magic juice here off to the side. Bam. Uh, R.I.P. Nice, says Brandon Triolo. R.I.P. right back at you. Uh, Coco Bean. Hi. I'm loving the stream. Well, you know what, Coco Bean? Thank you. Uh, and Coco Pebbles is actually one of my favorite cereals uh, for sure. Uh, as well as Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles is good. Bonnie, you took my Fruity Pebbles. Uh, Big Ham. I mean, I'll, I'll never do that again. Brig Ham says, love you, beast. Thank you, Brig Ham. Uh, cheers to you, good sir. And I hope that you have a good day. 
That's not cool. There's something in my glass. Um, all right. I, th I think for the rest of the time here, uh, I will I will play this one level over and over again until I get all red get all red eight coins. I get the star. Uh, things are not going my way right now, so I need to get my bearing straight. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Get back on track, and we're going to be just fine. The words were not coming out of my mouth just then. Uh, hello, Louisa Lewis. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I shouted you out earlier, Louisa Lewis, even though I knew that you probably weren't there in the live stream yet. I appreciate you always stopping by. Let's get a hashtag, or not, Louisa Lewis, because she's awesome. Uh, here we go. I'm just going to do this once and for all. that red coin. I need that red coin. Come on. I need it. Damn it. Hello, Hunter Haas. <laughs> I did see you earlier, Hunter Haas, but I just looked down. It's the first uh, name that I saw. Hello, Master Boom, Seventh Day. Dude, you're my favorite YouTuber. I'm honored. Master Master Boom, Seventh Day. Uh, I appreciate your kind comment here. Uh, and you know what? Exactly. It's, it is my duty to continue uh, to the best of my ability to create content here on YouTube please land up there land up there land on there all righty shoot how many toilets have you broken in your lifetime says Fausto uh, Skrika Skrika well, uh, actually, in college, my my junior year in college, I rented uh, an apartment with two other roommates, uh, and I sat down on the toilet and broke the back the back piece, uh, and like it like it just kept leaking, uh, and I, I for some reason, I feel like I put like towels down and like let it continue to leak, and it actually leaked down into my like the people that live below us their apartment. So yeah, if you ever break a toilet like I did, uh, make sure to get it fixed and call a plumber ASAP. Or else you might ruin uh, the apartment complex or whoever, whoever lives below you. Uh, Diabetes says, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, right back at you. Uh, Spoots McDoog says, hey, Beast, can you tell my wife, Selena, to have a good day? Uh, we both love you, man. Spoots McDoog uh, to, 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 spo <laughs> to Spoot McDoog's wife, Selena. This is the LA Beast here, and I'm going to beat this level in your honor. Why? Because we are all here today, including yourself, Selena, having a good day. So on that note, uh, now I actually I have to beat the level. So, and again, uh, thank you everybody who's hanging in here. Uh, exactly. You know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. It's easy to lay down and quit and give up, but eventually if I want to beat the game and get all 120 stars, I'm eventually going to have to beat this level. Now, so why not just do it right here, right now? 
Know what I'm saying? Oh, although, yes, is it a pain in the ass that I'm, I'm doing the same thing over and over and I'm sucking at it? Yes, it is. We're going to figure it out. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Chris Underwood believes that I have it this time. It is through repetition. You know what? I'm going to go for this guy. He's got to nail it the right way. That's what she said. Oh, you shit bagger. Is that cool? I had the right idea, though. Like that, that, that one that's like in the invisible cloud, that's going to be ridiculous to get to, but... Do it. Let's do it up. All right. Um. Shit. I'm just not doing well. Please don't, please don't screw this up. Okay. You know what? Let's take a breather. Let's take a quick breather here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all 947 of you. Uh, let's see what this person said. I'm just interested... Gotcha. Uh, thank you. I appreciate uh, all the moderators. Thank you uh, for, and you know what, to all the moderators, uh, do you have to do anything? No. Uh, but to those that, that do, I appreciate you very much. 100%. Thank you. Uh, what the hell was that, says AJ, Hall, or AJ Hallmark. I don't know. Quite honestly, I don't know what's going on, but but we're, we're here uh, and we're going through it together. Uh, tall guy 48 hello. How's it going? Patrick Almeida, welcome. Says, hey, Beast, you should do a collaboration um, with James Rolfe, a.k.a. Angry Video Game Nerd, Cinemassacre, uh, to do a clip. So, what do you think? This is Patrick Almeida. Uh, I think at this juncture, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing my own thing for now. Uh, so, yeah, I honestly, I, I couldn't give you an answer, yes or no, either way, whether or not I would collaborate with anybody in the future at this time. You know, I just, I, I feel like I just want to get done what I need to get done and I don't know I, I, like ever since I was like in middle school I've always done better when I worked by myself although uh certain collaborations again if like two good people join together they can create something even greater than they ever thought they could but at this juncture like I said I'd rather just uh, do my own thing for now respectfully uh Patrick uh, thank you Grayson Hansen says you've got this white ah white hawk pierce says hey beast do a D Brown no look slam dunk challenge on halftime show trampoline all while wearing the classic pumps. Um, and you know what? Uh, if we're going to like get into daredevil stuff, like doing like no look trampoline slam dunks. Uh, I, speaking of which, I actually still have my skateboard uh, because I wanted to, uh, I had a YouTube idea where I want to drop in from like a six foot skate skateboard ramp successfully. Uh, and maybe like learn some some tricks or something like that. Uh, so thank you. You know what, White Hawk Pierce, you just uh, reminded me of that skateboard video idea that I had. Hell yeah! Thank you. Uh, 
Unnecessary Grayson Hansen. You've been kind enough. Uh, I appreciate your kindness here today, but thank you. It is not necessary, but thank you nonetheless. Uh, Drizzy Maine says, I will always cherish your Mountain Dew and old Doritos because on the stream the week before I asked a question and you showed me the Mountain Dew and Doritos and you were going to drink and eat. And you know what? A lot of the times I'm not lying uh, when people like ask me, oh, what's your next YouTube video, this and that. Um, and I, like, usually I always look down, uh, because like the food item is like right there, uh, next to my computer. And I'm like, I should, like, I should have gotten this done earlier, but my next idea is right there. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it and get it done. And I'm, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that for the most part, if I say I'm going to do something, I figure a way to get it done. And yeah, like, like I said, like, I have no idea what the hell my next YouTube video is going to be, but, uh, I'll think of something because that's what I do. For now. Uh, and yes, are there people in the chat session saying, why don't you get a real job, this and that? Probably. Uh, but but you know what? I enjoy uh, challenging myself to think of new ideas. And, and I appreciate those that still tune in to this channel. So thank you to everybody for allowing me to continue to do this as a job. Although, uh, is YouTube going to define me uh, in my lifetime? No, I don't think it will. I feel uh, there, there are other avenues I'd like to pursue uh, sometime, I don't know, five years from now, 10 years from now, who knows? Yeah, but the, the one thing I do know is that I'm always going to continue to plow forward, just like I'm going to plow forward right here, right now, and, and get this damn star. And I, I feel like I was just talking way too much. And that's okay. Thanks for listening. Shit, I'm going to screw this up. All right, so I got to get to the, the next cannon platform, which is right here. So I'm going to have to shoot it up a little bit higher. You know what's, you know what's weird? Uh, and I don't know if I should be admitting this, but I started watching Dawson's Creek on Hulu. <laughs> like, uh, I know Dawson's Creek, when I was growing up in like the 90s, was like... The, the most popular show on TV, and I was like, why? Uh, and, like, uh, I'll, I'll preface... Wow. I'll preface this conversation by saying I was legally high in the state of New Jersey when I decided to watch Dawson's Creek, but, like, I somehow started to get interested in it. Uh, is that weird? I don't know. Let, uh, let's stop and discuss. Let's not stop and discuss. I have four red coins... Oh, I just need to get I just need to get the the next four red coins and then we can be done. Uh, the Nits, 1976. Hello. Uh, okay, Dawson's Creek. Say it isn't so. That is a terrible show. Says Ace Freely. <laughs> All right, Seven is laughing. Says that's very sad. Again, legally high here in the state of New Jersey while watching Dawson's Creek to me uh, was an enjoyable experience. But fair enough. I can understand uh, the negative reviews that are coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Grayson Hansen again, thank you. Fielding Castle says, glad you like the idea. Sounds awful to do, but fun to watch. If you do it, oh, make sure the weather is hot enough for the run. Right. Uh, uh, one second. Well, one second pause here.
was my girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she bought pickle chips. It, like they were like dill pickle chips from Trader Joe's, I believe. Uh, but when I had that, I ate that chip. It tasted like a McDonald's Big Mac with like Big Mac sauce on it. Very unique. Um, I apologize for the muted uh, conversation there for a second, but yes, uh, I apologize. Can you hear me now? Uh, John Fahey, who does not like slow mode. Can, we, can you hear me now? Uh, Ralph Macchio should have used karate knowledge in The Outsiders. I've never actually seen The Outsiders, but I know The Outsiders has a pretty big cast. Please, please get this. Please get this coin. Please get the coin. Come on. All right, so pretty much, pretty much get off this platform. Please don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Don't screw it up. Oh. I know what I have to do. I have to get to the cannon, and I have to get that coin that's in the cloud. And then there's two other coins that are... All right. Okay, slow it down, pal. I, th oh. I, th I think we're going to do this. We're going to get it done. I jinxed it. I totally jinxed it. Mm. Cassius the Seventeenth said, uh, "Just a reminder to the moderators, and, and you know what, the moderators, I appreciate you very much. Yes, if somebody says like LA Beast or douche nozzle douche wad, can I handle that? Yes. If like someone's like saying douche wad, if like if it's like spam, no, and they're saying the same thing over and over and over. Yes, put the person in timeout. Um, if somebody's like using hate speech or like." specifically targeting or bullying somebody else uh obviously like block them from commenting in the future but uh yeah if someone's like hey la beast you fart knocker that's fine uh fair enough fair enough uh exactly M marwan escalee just said the word dildo that's fine the dildo is just a word um exactly hunter haas says i'm playing down with the sickness Oh, nice. I'm playing Down With The Sickness right now on my guitar. Great song. I saw Disturbed. Uh, it was Disturbed in Corn at the Hammerstein Ballroom in, like, 2011. Like, my work, I worked at a beer company, and like, they had, like, eight corn tickets. And I was like, they're like, we couldn't give any of these away. Do you like corn? And I'm like, hell yeah. And they gave me, like, all eight tickets. Um, and, like, I went to the venue. Some guy was looking for tickets. I was like, what are you going to give me for seven tickets? And he's like, it was like 60 bucks, and I'm like, done. Uh, yeah, that was like my first ever concert I ever, I ever, ever went to, uh, and it was awesome. Uh, thank you again, Fielding Castle, for your, your idea. Super Kid 515 says, Retro Entertainment TV supports the LA Beast. Drag him. Nice. Uh, retro Entertainment TV. I, I support... Anything retro for that matter. You know what? I support 80s and 90s retro stuff first and foremost. But to everybody who uh, enjoys like stuff from when they grew up, hell yeah. Retro is awesome. So am I. And so are you. And so are you. So is everybody. Ugh. Nice. Mm-hmm. 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 We're we're going to do this. 
God bless you. Like, there, there has to be a point when you just lose over and over again to where, like, you finally know what you have to do to beat the level. And I think we're getting close to that point right here, right now. John Lewandowski says, what is a douche nozzle? I don't know. Is douche nozzle a terminology that is only for, like, uh, New Jersey? I feel like growing up as a kid, douche nozzle was always a part of my vocabulary, for sure. All right. This one. That's the magic spot right there. Come on. Ah. Shit. No. No, 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 no. Uh, little MS Goth says great job and little MS Goth said great job prior to me screwing it up there um, cock sandwich says Taylor ham right here in the state of New Jersey northern New Jersey people call it a Taylor ham egg and cheese uh, but I think like people from the south call it like a pork roll egg and cheese or something like that I say Taylor ham indeed um, again thank you Chris Page for your kindness here today I appreciate you very much uh, to everybody who I'm not getting to your comments fast enough. Oh, fun ghoul. Uh, Balaz Fuldesi. Uh, Balaz Fuldesi says, Hey, Beast. Thank you for the amazing content on your channel and the most amazing cameo video I got from my darling. This is Balaz from Stan Winston School. Maybe you remember Keep Up the Good Work. <laughs> Dang it, yeah, jeez. Uh, yes. The Stan Winston school of like... Oh, like special effects. Join the premier online community for artists and creators and learn from some of the best. Uh, the planet from some of the Hollywood's best. Something like that, yeah. Makeup effects. Puppet making courses. Interesting. Hell yeah, jeez. Uh, Balaz, and excuse me for probably mispronouncing your name here. Uh, I did that cameo a while ago. Uh, and yeah, thank you for, for stopping by. I appreciate your support here in the live stream. So cheers. Heck yeah, I hope you're doing well uh, with whatever it is that you're creating. Good sir. Awesome. Um, Oliver T. Lanahan says, I believe in you, beast. Get your bearings straight. Thank you, Oliver. And you know what? I will achieve this, this level here. Uh, I'm talking way too much. I need to slow down my talking and just stay focused. Uh, and I'll get it done. Uh, Blunt Trauma. Uh, Blunt Trauma had a few comments here. Who said, Have a good day, my guy. Uh, have a good day, my guy. And that was it. I, I apologize that you had to say, Have a good day, my guy, twice. Blunt Trauma, as I did not get your comment fast enough. Uh, but Blunt Trauma, uh, hopefully... You know what? I've actually watched a lot of Forensic Files. Uh, mm. Yeah, Blunt Trauma's not good. But smoking blunts in, illegally and responsibly is. Or can be. But whatever you do, I do not support the use of illegal drug use. Illegal drug use. 
And if you decide to drink alcohol, please do so responsibly, just for the record. Uh, Mr. Pico Boulevard says I should play NBA Jam as Prince Charles in honor of his dad. Now, Prince Philip passed away on the same day uh, that DMX also passed away. So, rest in peace, obviously. And I believe my girlfriend said that Prince Philip, or Philip, uh, from the royal family who passed away, died on the anniversary of Princess Diana and Prince Charles' wedding. Something like that. It, it, like, it's weird how, like, when it comes to history, like, weird things and dates line up. No, but I believe that's what happened. Why is it going so fast? Come on. Alright, we're going to do it this way. Don't screw this up. Get that. Get it. Wow. Don't screw this up. Okay. All right. All right. Land. No. No, 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 no. Please don't screw this up. Just land on that thing. Land. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to we're going to pause right there because that was crazy. Uh done. Uh, Jeffrey Duke says, yes. Uh, McChicken Eater says, yes. Baseball Goat says, Billy Ripken did nothing wrong. Billy Ripken did not do anything wrong, but uh, his F-Face error card is, in fact, uh, right behind me there. Oh, boy. Uh, Fausto Skrika. Fausto Skrika says, how many toilets have you broken in your lifetime? Uh, definitely one, uh, 100%. Uh, damn, you're making money, says Grayson Hanson. Again, thank you, Grayson. You've been more than kind here today. Um, Caleb Douglas says, stay strong, beast. You got this. Yes, I do have this. And yes, uh, I'm about to, I'm about to keep on going. I'm going to get an extra life as well. Why not? No! Oh. That's not good. Please don't screw this up. You're... You're a dick. You're a dickwad. Land. Land it. Oh. Whew! Alright. I hate that I still have to drive family members around... With my right knee sprained from a freakish fall, says Louisa Lewis. Is it is it possible, Louisa, that another family member could drive your family members around? Because you know what? Uh, that's not good. And I, I hope that at least you have some like ice or heat on that or something. Um, I actually, I, I bought these things called copper socks. They're like compression socks. I'm not sure if that would help. No, but definitely like stay off your feet. Uh, does anybody know for a sprain where you sh whether you should put ice or heat on it? Uh, maybe give some Louisa Lewis some advice there, but I don't wish a freakish fall on anybody. Hello, Lady Safira Jen. How's it going? I'm going to screw this up somehow. No. Please don't fuck this up. Please don't screw it up. Alright, 
Uh, there's there's one last red coin that I need to find. I just don't know where it is. Keith Jones says the words jizz. Uh, or just the word jizz. And you know what? Thank you to the moderators for not... Um, I guess uh, quite possibly Keith Jones is testing the waters here. Um, yeah, somebody said the word dildo before. Um, and, and right, I think... If, if somebody's bullying somebody, if somebody's putting somebody down, if somebody's using hate speech, uh, th- yes, obviously, like, don't they're not allowed to comment here any any further. But uh, thank you to the moderators for, for letting some things go here. Um, 100%. All right. Mr. Pico Boulevard just said, Jizz Part 2. And Mr. Pico Boulevard is, in fact, a moderator himself. So you know what? Great. All right. Now everybody's saying the word jizz. Okay, now somebody just said dildo jizz. Okay. Okay, I'll stop saying those words. I'll keep playing, and hopefully uh, in the comments section, we'll, we'll pass by uh, this little mishap of people saying these words here. Ace Freely says, Jersey rocks, go Jets. <laughs> hey, Beastie Boy. Uh, Ace Freely, New Jersey does in fact rule. People from New Jersey are awesome, uh, but the New Jersey or the, yeah, the New York Jets are not very good, as, as well as the New York Giants. Um, so, I don't know. Well, I don't know what we need to do, but we need to definitely improve the Jets and Giants uh, this upcoming season. All righty. Okay. Great. Nice. Uh, John Corn- Cornwell says the word fart sock. Fart sack, excuse me. Heck yeah. That, that's a good one. Fart sack. I like it. I like your creativity, Ian Wright. Uh, Ian Wright says the Utah Jizz. Uh, and you know what? The Utah Jazz, uh, John Stockton, Jeff Hornacek, Carl Malone, Greg Ostertag, uh, Brian Russell for three. Um, I hated the Utah Jazz. Um, like Every time like Carl Malone would take a free throw, he would like say his prayers. He would say like eight prayers in a row. Uh, and then Jeff Hornacek, to say hello to his kids, would rub the side of his face. Uh, during his free throws, but I am glad the Chicago Bulls beat the Utah Jizz. All right, all right. So take it easy, take it easy. Please don't fuck this up. Please don't screw it up. Okay. Stay above it. Stay above it. Stay above it! Oh. Woo! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that for that level. Oh, nice. I f- and uh, even greater. You found 70 power stars. Mystery of the Endless Stairs is solved. Thanks to you. Uh, and is Bowser ever upset? Now on to the final bout. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, I, just, I, I, I totally just used the word bout twice. Alrighty. I don't know what to do now. I, I was enjoying having a specific level to get done. Um, Chris Underwood. Uh, highly unnecessary... Exciting news, I opened up my own merch shop on Spring. Bad news, the tube said I can't promote it on my channel until I hit 10,000 subscribers. Oh well, baby steps, glad you're streaming today, good sir. Uh, Well, I will do my best. Chris Underwood, 
try and help share your channel as always. If anybody enjoys uh, spicy challenges or just challenges overall, which involve spice, Chris Underwood is your man. Um, nice. That's that's a load of BS, uh, quite honestly, in my opinion, uh, that YouTube will not allow a channel to, to link a merchandise shop until they receive 10,000 subscribers. And ladies and gentlemen, right here, right now, Chris Underwood is at 363 subscribers. Now, I don't know. Check him out. Um, host of Instant Regret, a show that has a regular guy doing not-so-regular things for your enjoyment. And you know what? I feel like you've changed the About section. <laughs> I'll read it again. Uh, it's simple. It's straight to the point. Uh, Chris Underwood is a host of Instant Regret, a show that has a regular guy doing not so regular things for your enjoyment. I like it. it. Has a nice ring to it, and I will absolutely Chris Underwood, who has 363 subscribers, share his link. Um, and, and and if we can get of all 923 of you subscribed, we'd still be 9,000 subscribers short before he can share. Uh, his merchandise page. But but you know what, Chris Underwood? That's why you have to build up, which I'm sure you are, your your Twitter, your Instagram, your TikTok, uh, your Facebook. Like, you need all those other social medias, uh, which will, yes, when YouTube's algorithm doesn't promote your videos and stuff, that's why you have all the other social medias to promote your videos for you. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, you, YouTube is a little bit crazy nowadays, but there you go. Chris Underwood, uh, did I recently add Nathan Fielder to your recommended channels? Says Eric Schaefer. Uh, I did not. I did not add that person uh, to my list. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Uh, boom! Your channel. Hmm. Um, I went to my channel here on YouTube. It tells me who I'm subscribed to. Um, to my knowledge, I did not any add anybody to a recommend recommendation list off the top of my head. Uh, so there. Hello, Dead Poop Four Twenty. How's it going? Uh. And, and Grayson Hansen, uh, Grayson Hansen, Chris Underwood says, good luck with your merchandise. And again, thank you, Grayson. Uh, nah, hi, okay. I ha I've had a rough day. Could I get a have a good day, Dom Nesbitt? You know what, Dom Nesbitt, thank you. Uh, I was trying to like pronounce your name there, but to Dom Nesbitt. Oh, boy. To Dom Nesbitt, have a good day. Uh, and you know what? Having a rough day uh, sucks. Uh, for me, the past two days, I've been like crunching numbers, um, trying to do my taxes. It's, it's never fun, but I'm glad I got it done. And, and finally, at least here today, uh, I could sit back, relax, and just enjoy watching some Dawson's Creek later when I'm high, uh, legally here in the state of New Jersey. So I hope that you equally, Dom Nesbitt, ha have a, a relaxing day. Because you know what? You deserve it. Um, 100%. Let, I'll keep playing the game here. Screw it. Oh, boy. Oh, the problem of the never-ending stairs has been solved. All right, well, you know what? Here we go. Screw it. Okay, this is not going to end well. Patrick, Patrick Luce says Dawson's Creek. Yeah, you know what? Hulu is great. I, I enjoy Hulu, Hulu, even though it has commercials, but I saw Dawson's Creek never in a billion years, not even when it was like popular in the 90s. Did I have any desire to watch it? But like, I asked myself the question, what made Dawson's Creek so popular? 
Uh, and like, I was just, you know what, screw it, I was high. I was like, screw it, I put on the first episode and like I'm already on the fifth episode. And you know, I'm not afraid to admit it, that I'm watching Dawson's Creek right now. It's fine. Uh, thank you Cassius the 17th. Exactly. Thank you, Cassius the Seventeenth. That that's that's a, an example of um, deleting the comment there. Uh, William Piper, uh, I appreciate your kindness. Dom Nesbit, uh, again, highly unnecessary. I appreciate your kindness, but thank you. You know what? Your your day will in fact get better because you're gonna watch me, Dom, dominate this final Bowser level. If it's the last thing I do here today. I'm going to collect all eight red coins. I feel like I remember this level. Okie dokie. I feel like there's something underneath. Extra life. I'm not going to waste my energy. For those just joining, I am somehow, I am on Bowser's final level here. Oh, this guy. Bad stuff here. All right. I know what I need to do. Watch this. Nope. Okay, somehow. Somehow that's what I needed to do, and I did it somehow. Let's just take a quick pause here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Maddie Spice, hope you're doing well. Uh, that company, Maddie Spice, you, you you sent me like the world's hottest cheese puff, and like oh, I totally forget what the company name is, but they sent me this this new challenge uh, that involves like wasabi spice. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy that they I have like a spicy challenge uh, lined up for the future there. Um, I see you, Bung Magoo. Uh, hello, how's it going? Uh, William Garvey, a uh, long time no see, I hope you're doing well. William, uh, to your son, to your family, uh, happy, happy 2021, happy new year. I don't think I've seen you here in a while, but, uh, William Garvey, ladies and gentlemen, all around great guy. Uh, Adam Carroll, oh nice, Adam Carroll, uh, says, hey LA Beast, a long time fan of your videos, man. Sorry if you get this all the time, but what is the worst challenge that you've ever done? Uh, to which Maddie Spice, your last name is uh, Carol as well. Uh, Adam says, what is the worst challenge that I've ever done? Ooh. And you know what? I, I forget about this one. I would probably say the Bitrix. Bitrix is a solution uh, which is put in like cleaning products. So if like a small child accidentally like, gets into the cleaning product cabinet, swallows some of it down... It is so rank that like it, like it tastes like if you just somebody farted in your mouth times one thousand, uh, and then it just like it makes you very nauseous. Uh, and Bitrix, yeah, one little tiny tablespoon of Bitrix in Olympic sized swimming pool, you can taste this stuff. Uh, and like I consume the entire, or tried to consume the entire like two ounce jar of this liquid, um, and it it, it it tasted like stank. In my mouth. Bitrix. Uh, that was like one of the worst ones for sure. Adam. 
And then I tried to like get the Bitrix company to like send me more. And they're like, they're like, we appreciate that you shouted us out in your last video, but uh, that's not kind of what we were going for. Uh, I put Bitrix on Warhead candies and like threw up into the bowl. Um, so yeah, no, the people at Bitrix did not send me more Bitrix when I needed it for another video. And that's okay. I understand. Uh, Big Irish Balls, how's it going? You know what, Big Irish Balls? I did, in fact, buy a four-pack of Murphy's Irish Stout, which is pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I wish it was just a little bit, bit, bit higher in the ABV. It's only 4% alcohol per volume. I'm going to continue to play the game. Sorry. Oh, I got, I got some acid reflux going. Uh, Spoots McDoog. Spoots McDoog. Uh, to Selena, I uh, appreciate your kindness here today. It says, oh, beast, the smile on her face. Thank you. Uh, anytime, Spoots, Spoots, McDoog, and Selena. All right, this guy's not good. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Shit me. All right, so I guess we're stuck here because I don't, I don't know what to do. Go back, says Jack Townley. All right. Uh. All right, uh, go back to the spinning platform. Gotcha. Okay, I thought this stream was supposed to be only an hour, said Sad Face Nathan. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, an hour, 38 minutes. Probably, probably at the two-hour mark, uh, we'll call it quits here. I got eight lives. I'll play the rest of the eight lives here and see if I can beat Bowser. Um, unnecessary uh, Fielding Castle says, Another fiver. Hopefully he does my challenge when the weather is hot. And you know what? I The, the one thing, uh, Fielding Castle, I, I appreciate your suggestion. I cannot guarantee uh, that I will or will, will or will not do the challenge that you suggested, but I, I appreciate it. Uh, to which off the top of my head, you may have to remind me. It was, uh, wearing a coat. Ah, it was like eating bananas mixed with Sprite, chugging, chugging it down. Uh, and then with like a hot coat on a hot winter's day, like running a mile or something like that. Which, you know what, that, that would totally 100% uh, showcase. Whoa. That would showcase my athleticism. You know what, I'll, I'll get back to you, uh, Fielding Castle, in one second here. I, I don't want to screw this up. Right, so apparently, I need to be somewhere around here. Uh, I'm still here listening, just waiting for my son to get in the car so that I can drive them to work. I know Louisa Lewis, uh, who has a sprained knee. 
that that's a caring parent right there to drive your sons to work uh even though you're you need to be laying resting up in bed uh heck yeah uh, i hope you drop them off get home and get off your feet asap all right jack jack townley ladies and gentlemen knows what to do says go straight Gotcha. Haha. Yeah? Is that is that what I should have done? Uh, Russ, yeah, yeah, it's me. Says you should do a workout challenge since you're back in the gym. Maybe film you maxing out. I'm actually not back in the gym, Russ. No, I canceled my gym membership because I was being charged like multiple times a month. Uh, at least, well, at least in, in March, they charged me like $110 for like, and I'm like, I've not been in the gym in over a year. Uh, so I went in and I canceled my gym membership and, uh, there's actually a gym closer to where I live, uh, a hell of a lot cheaper to where I'm going to join there. Um, and again, when it comes to like, I didn't, I didn't realize that me posting saying I got my vaccine shot was going to be such a big deal. Uh, and to, to people in this chat session who... <laughs> Don't want to get a vaccine shot? Fucking A. No, I'm not against you on that, but don't give me... There's a lot of people that gave me grief that I did get a vaccine shot, but uh, 100%. Once I get my second shot, which, is which is, again, I did not get the Johnson & Johnson shot, um, what, would, I, would I feel a little bit more comfortable going back to the gym? Maybe. 100%. Uh, cock sandwiches. Go back down and get the red coin. Um... No, uh, you know what? I forgot 160. You says you deserve a refund. Um, I, I I left my gym membership open uh, because like the amount of electricity that I've used at the gym, working out there on the treadmills and everything. Like I wanted to support the gym during like the tough times and the quarantine and stuff. Um, but yeah, like once once they started charging me like double time, I was like screw this, and I, I went in and I canceled my account. Uh. Nice. Lady Safira got her first shot of Moderna. Uh, let the whiners whine. Indeed. I just, I, I didn't, yeah, fair enough. Uh, like, uh, I'm the least political person you'll ever meet. I'm the least religious guy. I don't talk about religion or politics. And um, I don't know. I, I got a little uh, offended that people were jumping down my neck for getting a vaccine shot. Uh, so, I, yeah, I was like, I don't have time for your bullshit today. Uh, and that was the end of that. Because honestly, fuck them. And, and fair enough. I, I probably blocked about, probably on Facebook, I blocked about 70 people the other day uh, who were just like spewing BS. Uh, it is what it is. And I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on playing here. Nice. The WNBA draft is tonight, says Mr. Pico Boulevard. Good. I remember when, like, Cheryl Swoops was in the WNBA and, and Lisa Leslie. <sighs> All right. That's bad. That was a good recovery. Great recovery. Yeah, you know what? I, I did miss one of the red coins. Uh, my objective is just go straight for Bowser. That sucks. Hey, shithead. Okay. All right, so I missed, I missed two red coins. I would have had five, quite possibly already. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. All right. Well. Sh should have gotten stupid red coins from below. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a break here. All right, Mr. Peagle Boulevard said the word jizz. Duck Dodgers, how's it going? Uh, I went on I went on eBay and I tried to like I'm trying to uh, collect back some of my favorite Nintendo games, complete in the original boxes. Uh, and Ducktales 2 is actually a pretty rare game. Um, yeah, I, I have not found an example of Ducktales 2 complete in box. That's like less than three hundred dollars um hello jason fuller um cole coupland welcome back says do the robot and see if that helps i i will get my bearing straight as i'm here in the final level uh i still have like four i think i have 50 more stars that i've i've yet to get here to beat this game officially um uh, but yes hopefully cole coupland we can beat uh, Bowser here today uh, in the live stream. Josh Gibney, hello, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Um, GB says, hey man, thanks for the birthday shout out from the cameo. The lady got it for me as a gift uh, and it was super appreciated. This is her favorite game, too funny enough. Have a good day. Uh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, GB. Uh, and honestly, like, it's crazy. Like, I, there's only, like, 250 characters that people can give me to explain about like, who their loved ones are. Uh, but, yeah, I enjoy doing the cameo messages. I take it seriously. And I'm glad that you enjoyed your birthday message. And I will raise my glass once again and say cheers and happy birthday. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on going here. Um... Oh boy, this is not good. <sighs> That's bad. Okay, well, bring it on. Get the f are you kidding me with the fire? I'm sorry. That's positive. Uh, if you if you fail, you just get shot right back out towards the end there. Uh, okay. This game is so easy, says VP. Uh, well, you know what? That's just showing your true ignorance. That, you know what, to everybody, this game is not easy. Uh, you, yes, maybe. And the one thing with competitive eaters that I don't like, I've done competitive eating. Uh, I don't like the competitive eaters that not only take down, like, 15 pounds of food, but then they're like, oh, yeah, I'm still hungry for dessert. Oh, this is so easy. Fuck off. Not not you specifically, VP. Uh, I just, fair enough. Good. It's easy. But you don't have to be... 
cocky about it. Not you, and again, not you specifically, VP. Don't fuck off. I, I appreciate that, you, that you're sharing your opinion, that you feel that this game is easy. That's fine. Um, William Piper says, Don't ever donate to anyone but a chance to talk to the Beast. Been watching your old videos to get my bearings straight in my new apartment. I hate YouTube nowadays, but you will always... Oh, but you, I will always watch. Have a good day. Uh, we know what, William Piper, I hope, hopefully, uh, your apartment is in New York City, I'm sure. Uh, definitely living in New Jersey, a lot of people have left New York City, and I'm sure that you can get a good deal. And hopefully, wherever you wherever you live specifically, I hope you got a good deal uh, on your apartment. But best of luck. Uh, like, you know what? Um... Every place that I've lived in, I've enjoyed living there. And um, unique experiences with, with roommates in some circumstances. But uh, I wish you nothing but the best. William Piper in your new place uh, where, where you're residing as your habitat. Good sir. Uh, and, I, and I appreciate that you still tune in to LA Beast videos. Even though they've been few and far between. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I have one video that's kind of ready to go. I have another video that's like also kind of ready to go. Uh, and then after that, I have no idea what it is I'm going to try and do. Although, uh, Mr. Castle from above has suggested uh, a YouTube challenge, but we'll we'll see. Um, what type of weed do I smoke, says Grayson Hansen. Um, I've actually been uh, utilizing legally here in the state of New Jersey lozenges. They have um, this little tiny lozenge, uh, and I take about five of them. I've realized... <laughs> The first time I took 11, um, and I believe they have 10 milligrams of cannabis, and I took 11, so uh, that was too much, and I've, I've, I've gotten it to the point where like four or five of those, uh, after about an hour, I'm just like, ah, oh, sitting on the couch, uh, relaxed, um, exactly, allegedly. Uh, you know what, Bud Fox, uh, I have my medicinal marijuana card here in New Jersey, uh, recreational use of marijuana has... Uh, been voted on and passed as legal so i guess eventually there there will be no more allegedly i smoked weed here in new jersey but for those that do uh, utilize cannabis please do so responsibly uh cassie says uh thank you think you may have missed my super chat beast any chance you could read it uh i just i don't believe i've gotten to it yet cassius uh because i'm so far behind um so, and you know what? I'll scroll back up. Nope, I, I saw it. I still have not gotten to it. I apologize. Uh, Matt Riley Productions, uh, welcome. I appreciate your kindness as always. Um, keep on producing, Matt Riley Productions. Uh, I see you, Dale Wilson, says, Hey, Beast Man, whatever happened to the baby ginger? Uh, blank, blank. Can I get an update, please? Uh, dill pickle chips are awesome. Ah, Jesus. I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, whatever happened to the baby ginger root? Uh, in my, my California apartment with my EMT roommate, I had a ginger root, uh, which is very pungent, I guess you can say. And, like, I threw one and, like, hit hit a guitar and, like, went behind the couch. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. We definitely moved out of there. You know what? I'm not sure. I don't know. You know what? I, I would definitely say, like, when I edited that video, I, I when I threw that ginger root, it hit the guitar. Uh, I think I definitely went and tried to retrieve it. Because, I like, I'm a pretty clean, neat guy. Uh, and, like, knowing that that would be down there, uh, I would assume that I, I picked it up and threw it away. Uh, Dale Wilson. Great question. Jesus. Um, uh... Done. Cassius the 17th, and I'll continue to play the game here. Returning the love. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, Sarumaru's stream a couple weeks ago. Uh, we live on mine. Oh, we are live on mine tonight with Jackbox. Join up if you can make it. Keep up the beautiful work, you beautiful beast. This is Cassius the 17th. Let me get your channel. Bingo. Um, Cassius the 17th. Uh, Gamer, nerd, and I have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, quite possibly. I stream mostly retro on original hardware as much as possible. 
all and you have like your your nice uh donate subscribers if anybody enjoys retro like i do bam the 17th shit me Mm. Mm. Ooh, nope, not moving. Working. Uh, John Fahey says we're... All right. All right, all right. 